Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I actually wanted to talk about bone loss and dentures and since we had our teeth out. I'm in my bathroom, I'm sitting on a stool, awkward position, but it came to my brain and I wanted to discuss it. Um, first, we all are going to battle bone loss. Now when you take out your natural teeth, you will end up with bone loss. Now this is why they try to get people to do implants. People are like, oh, you know, they do it to get money. Yeah, some dentists are pretty conniving. But others, the reason why they say do implants is to prevent the bone loss that's going to happen. Now, I tell people all the time, people that, you know, oh, my denture's uncomfortable. First of all, we all go through that stage. When you first get dentures, it is awkward. You have a device in your mouth. You're going to produce a lot of saliva at first because your body thinks it's food and it tries to break it down. Um, it's uncomfortable. You do get used to it. So stop taking out your denture. If you keep taking out your denture and you don't wear your denture, you're going to increase your bone loss like you wouldn't believe. And then when you want to wear a denture, it ain't going to work because it's got nothing to grab onto. Um, so if you can't get implants like I can't, I can't afford it. Plus with my disease, I can't have a screw in my mouth. It can screw it up. It can grow into my jaw. It, it, it isn't good for me. But having a denture in your mouth does prevent bone loss. But keeping it on sorry, keeping it in your mouth all the time, um, it does put pressure on your jaw bones and your muscles messes up your TMJ joint. So that's why they recommend people taking it out at nighttime. Um, some people, you know, if they don't want to take it out at nighttime, say if, you know, they're embarrassed in front of their loved one, which that's going to be a whole other video. Um, you can still take it out in the daytime for a few hours. Let your gums rest. Your gums and your jaw and your TMJ joint, they all do need to rest. But please, guys, please stop taking out your denture because you don't like the way it feels. You do get used to it. You really do. I'm three and a half months in. I got to say the first month and a half, first month, I got to say, was hard. Because there is something in your mouth. You're not used to it. It feels like a freaking foreign object, which it is sitting in your mouth acting as real teeth. So it is going to be uncomfortable. Your gums have to tighten up. They have to harden. They have to do its thing. So you have to have patience. It does take time, but time goes fast. As we all know, time goes fast. I mean, how long have we been in quarantine for? Over a month now. Boom. That would be enough time for you to get used to your denture. But bone loss can be prevented if you wear your denture. If you wear, they originally say implants prevent bone loss altogether which it does. Problem with implants, which is going to be another video, is, you know, sometimes they don't take. And I will explain that in a different video, what that even means. But then you can get a bridge where you can get, like, say, four here, here, and here, and here, and secure them in, and that gives you more of a fighting chance against bone loss. Dentures is, like, the last option. It does help slow bone loss down. It does. So you, you need to have patience with yourself. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I've noticed after 10 years of wearing dentures, I need to get a new denture now because I, I have like nothing to grip onto. It's because you have bone loss. If you, since we're in quarantine, you know how many people I've heard not even playing with you? M so many people on denture sites and everywhere else are like, oh, I'm home. I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just going to take out my denture for like three weeks. Okay, one, you now have to get reused to your entire denture again which is going to suck for you because you just learned how to talk without it. Again, that's why people, if they can't get immediate dentures, um, they now have to get used to eating and speaking without having teeth in their mouth. Then when they finally do get their permanent set of dentures, they now have to get used to talking again with dentures and, and eating. And it, the whole process is a pain in the ass. That's why I'm so blessed somebody helped me because I don't think I was mentally ready for that. Um, emotionally, I probably wasn't strong enough, I'm going to be real, to go without teeth. I'm a very active person as far as communicating with people and being in front of cameras. And, you know, I also sing and um, I used to teach dancing and I do all this stuff. So, and I also help organizations and do things to promote and raise money and awareness. So I need to visually have my teeth in. Um, as shallow as that sounds, it is what it is. We all want to have that visual smile. We want to be able to smile and with confidence. And that's what dentures do for us. But for people that spend so much money, ah, sorry, I moved. But for people to spend so much money 
on dentures and them just to be like, ah, fuck it, and not wear them. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt to talk at first. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt to eat. But you learn. If a baby can learn, you can learn. They learn with their teeth. It ain't easy. I mean, I literally have no back bottom molars at all. You know how hard it is to eat? But I do it, and I cope, and I suck it up because my jaw was broken. And I can't have a bottom partial right now. I actually am able to right now, but since my dentist's office is closed, there's not much you can do. But I spoke to my orthopedic surgeon, well, my ortho surgeon, um, because he handles my bones. I had bone cancer. I have broken bones. I've torn Achilles heels and I have many surgeries. So he knows a lot about bone loss and my dentist and I combined them together. And they all said implants is the number one thing to do because he wears, uh, implants and dentures. He actually did a bridge and a bridge. Um, it does help and prevents like I have family that did straight up implants. Like the second their teeth came out, they did implants right up there in every single one. They did the top first and then the next day they did the bottom. I don't know how the hell they did that. That's gotta be painful as shit. Um, but, and it costs a fucking fortune, but, um, you got to understand is if you don't want bone loss to happen, and I don't want people to have regrets. I really don't. And you know, I make these videos for a reason and I talk to you guys like we're friends and I'm being real because I don't want somebody just to feed me information and read off a paper and freaking act like they're rehearsed and they're getting sponsored or whatever. I have no sponsorship. I'm just trying to help people. That's all I'm trying to do. And that's why I do gum care videos. That's why I do these videos because I wasn't told any of this when I first got dentures. I was winging everything. And I figured it out on my own. And I figured, hey, you know what? I want to help someone. I want to, even if it's one person. Even if it's, it doesn't matter how many people. Even if it's just a diary so I can look back on and give myself motivation that, you know what, there are good days. Today's just a rough day. You got this. I know that it's mentally and physically annoying as shit to get used to dentures. I am. I'm aware of that. It does suck. I, we all go through it. Everybody who's watching this video or people that are about to go through this, it's not easy. Some people, it's a walk in the park, which is rare. But for the rest of us, it does take time. I mean, talking with dentures, I didn't have a problem talking with dentures because my disease shrunk my jaw and the way my teeth got pushed back, even though it didn't look like it. So when I got dentures, it actually gave me a wider area and I actually had more room in my mouth to talk. That's why my dentist kept making me say Mississippi after 24 hours of extractions. He took out my denture and he goes, all right, say Mississippi. He couldn't believe how clear I was talking because he actually fixed my speech, which was cool. But... If you care about bone loss, keep your denture in. I know it's frustrating, but every day does get better. I'm not playing. It really does. And we're all going to have rough days. You know, if adhesive's not working or, you know, we ate something we probably shouldn't have or we didn't, you know, do whatever and our denture's popping. You know, that's little stuff. You know, and some people don't like the mouth sores or the bone spurs and doing all that, but... It's part of it. And after a year of healing, it's, it's way better, by the way. I mean, I'm only in three and a half months, and you're going to have way less bone spurs. You're going to have, like, very little or if to no shrinking. Your gums, listen, your gums are still going to shrink. It's just the most it shrinks is the first six months to a year is where it mostly shrinks. But even after a year, five years, ten years, your gums are still going to shrink. And your your bones from where your teeth were, everything smoothens out, but this is where bone loss comes in. The more you wear your dentures, the less likely you're going to have a lot of bone loss. I mean, they always say, you know, the, the longer you wait to get dentures, the better. I didn't have a choice. I had a horrible mouth infection due to an autoimmune suppressant, and I didn't have a choice. I went from having good teeth to shitty teeth in two months. It was bad, but I did what I had to do to survive because I almost died from having it. So I'd rather live and have dentures than die and have pride. But if you want to prevent bone loss, keep your denture in your mouth. That is the best way to do it. I mean, if a few years from now you saved up enough money and you want to do like snap on dentures or a bridge that stays in or whatever, you know, you can get a few here and here and here, but the longer you wait, the less likely your implants are going to take. 
there is a chance with implants that your body will not take it. It will not, you know, approve of the implant in your jaw. That's why they like to do it the second it actually gets the teeth out. So they don't really notice. It's, it's like messing with your body. But the longer you wait, the less likely chance an implants are going to take. So you need to wear your denture. If you're having a hard day, watch one of my videos or watch any video on YouTube or listen to music or stop taking out your denture because your denture is going to prolong bone loss. It's not going to prevent it completely because that's what implants are for, but it will prolong it and it would give you years and years and years. Like say if I'm still alive when I'm 80, I won't be able to wear dentures anymore because the bone loss will be gone. Like it'll be like almost impossible to wear dentures at that time because I was so young with having dentures. That's why it's so common. People always think having dentures is for older people because they're so used to older people getting it because they've had their teeth their whole life. They're all now coming out. Like my grandmother, she's had bridges done. And well, many of my family has. So we all have health issues and just shit genetics. They have English teeth and all that, but they take really super good care of their teeth though. But you need to understand is I get it's stressful. I get it's annoying to have dentures, but you can't just throw in the towel or be like, Hey, I just don't want to wear them today. You know, one day is different, but keeping them out for like weeks and months or just never wearing them. You can't do that. Especially, Oh, I'm not going to wear them to, you know, eat. Uh, that's the point of dentures is to wear them when you eat. You have to learn to eat with dentures. You take small little pieces, you eat on both sides because the first year your teeth, uh, well, yeah, your denture teeth are not going to be even. You're going to be shrinking on one side more than the other. Like I have the one bone part sticking back more than that side. It's going to be crooked on even, even with the soft free line. So you want a really good adhesive, um, to hold you down while you're eating, but eat on both sides. That will help. But please keep your denture in if you want to prevent bull loss or slow it down. Because if you have your denture out all the time, you're going to end up with bone loss and you can't go back from that. You can't. There's so many people. I've seen so many people. This is what triggered the video. I've seen so many people regret not wearing their denture because their dentist told them, you can't wear a denture anymore. I'm sorry. You didn't wear it to begin with. He even flat out asked them did you wear your denture? And they said, no, it was uncomfortable. And he goes, well, yeah, now you can't wear one now. That's why it's not helping you because there's nothing to grip on. Your, your now bone, your jawbone is like gone. I mean, you got to think logically guys, you have to get used to something. It's like somebody, if they lose their arm and they have now a fake arm and all of that, they're not just going to get rid of it and be like, I can't use this. I don't know how to use it. No, they work hard at it. Same with their leg. They're not going to just take off their fake leg and be like, oh, it hurts. You know how painful it is for them to wear that fake leg and the infections it can cause, just like our mouth can cause infections. This shit hurts when they get their leg taken off and they have to wear a, a fake leg. But you know what? A lot of people become marathon runners. They don't give up because they have to get their skin used to it. They have to toughen it up and they want to be able to walk. That dedication of them wanting to walk, just like our dedication of wanting to eat, speak, smile. We need to hang on to our pluses and positives because no matter what in life, no matter how bad of a situation something is, there's always a positive because you're alive. You are blessed enough to get dentures. Some people are not. You're healthy at the moment. You're able to have a good smile. Now you have to work with your prosthetic. That's exactly what it is. Fake teeth is a prosthetic. And you have a prosthetic just like people with a prosthetic leg, prosthetic arm, same concept. So you can't just put them away and say, oh, I'm done. Protect yourself. Protect your health. Protect your well-being. Because I don't want to hear or see anyone devastated and upset because when they wanted to wear dentures, they can't now because... They lost their bone. It's sad. So now that you have the opportunity to have your denture, your prosthetic teeth, to be able to eat and smile and to have the confidence of your smile, 
just because things hurt, use Benzodent. If it doesn't stay in, use adhesive. Use a soft reline. Have them do another hard reline. Don't just give up and quit. We are strong. We are warriors. We got this. Everyone in life goes through something hard, but there's a positive. There's always a positive to everything. So please, if you're worried about bone loss and you never wear your dentures, wear your dentures. Protect yourself. It will slow down the progression of bone loss. Because I'd hate to see in 30 years from now and you're 50 years old and now you can't wear anything for the rest of your life. So, I mean, you guys can take it or leave my advice. I only just make the video to try to help people and educate people and make them aware because I was never aware of anything. And I don't want people to be like, I wish somebody told me that I would have tried harder. Well, I'm telling you now. So you can try harder. You got this. You can do it. Everybody has bad days and everybody has good days. No negative and no happy lasts forever. So hang on through the negative and enjoy the positive because life is too short and I don't want you guys having regrets. I hope you guys all have a good night. God bless and stay safe.